What do you mean the ads is not ready yet? Just let me watch an- Let me watch an ad with the baby elephant so I can move on with my life! <laughs> this isn't even a question, it's just exploitation! What's up guys, and welcome back to Brain Out. That game that's already stumped me with questions such as Whack the Mole, Count the French Fries, Click the orange rectangle, like stuff that you would expect a toddler not to get, but then I don't get it, and you guys get to have a good laugh pretending to yourselves like you would have gotten it. <laughs> and today we're moving on to level 60 with help them get on a blind date successfully. So I'm guessing this ginger-headed guy is looking to pick up a girl, and we can equip him with a diamond, a mansion, or a muffin. <laughs> In all reality, it's gonna be none of these. We already know for a fact that it's never that easy. They can't just give you the answer. They gotta go and hide it. They have terrifying, strange legs. Can I do anything to your legs? Or to either of you? Does she want the dog? Maybe I can... The dog is weird. Right, there's, there's like something strange about... Oh! I was gonna say there's something strange about his front. I didn't think we would see his back. Wait, 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 wait. So she's not a gold digger, but she takes her relationship advice from the patterns in a dog's ass. Level 61, find the number eight. And of course we have a wall of number nines that kind of look like screaming Pac-Man. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now, fortunately, I've played enough of this game that I like to consider myself a bit of an expert. I'm a bit of a wise guy now, and I would bet my left nut that when I need to find the number eight, I need to find... the... Uh, number eight, and I did not guess wrong. I... I'm just clicking this number eight because I feel like it, pointing it out to you guys. I don't owe you a left nut. Shut up. <laughs> Where would be the, the number eight? There you go. Yeah, it, it was a, a double whammy, a triple whammy. Either way, there were a whole lot of whammies. Level 62, find green. And let me guess, I don't need to find the word green. I need to find the color green. Well, green is made up of yellow and blue, right? So we should just be able to do a little something like that. And you have green, you see? Some toddlers wouldn't have gotten that. Level 63, find out the hexagon. Like, I know I've said this before, but I'm waiting for them to throw me a curveball with the English, and that it's not gonna be bad English, but they actually mean what they say. Like, it's not gonna be find the hexagon, I need to find out the hexagon. We do not even kind of have a hexagon right now. Can I change these shapes at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, maybe if I overlap them somehow? No. We tried it in the past where you, like, cut it off, and that would work. But that's not gonna do anything. I do not see how it's possible for me to turn these into a hexagon. Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh! A hexagon just has six sides. It doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> you see? You just throw stuff against the wall and eventually something will stick. Level 64. What comes after A, E, B, F, C? Well, a, B, and C, and then E, F, and G? The answer is either G or question mark. I'm gonna try G because that makes sense. And that's the answer, but if it was question mark, I had all my bases covered, so you guys can't call me a dummy. Level 65, crazy pin circle. Like, what does that even mean? Like, how am I supposed to answer a question when I'm not even sure if the question is in English? I have darts, I have eight darts, and what I assume is a spinning dart board? So, can I throw the darts? Can I move the darts? Can I interact with the darts in any way? Okay, so I can throw the darts, but it doesn't want me to hit a dart with another dart. Well then, I should be able to do that easily enough, and that's correct. 
So I'm guessing if the question is crazy pin circle, the answer is yes? Level 66, what number will our hand point to after three hours? So after three hours, it should point to 12. Right, both hands should point to 12. So I'm gonna put in the number 12 and assume that I'm incorrect. Of course I am. <laughs> after three hours. And can I manipulate the clock in any way? No. Our hand, it's on nine. So three hours should be 12. Maybe it's not plugged in or it doesn't have batteries, so it's still gonna be nine? Of course, because it's a picture and not a clock. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes. Level 67, how many chicks are there? Listen, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I know a thing or two about picking up chicks, and I know for a fact that if I pick up these chicks and I shake them hard enough, they should have babies. Uh, okay, maybe that was a past question that I'm thinking of. We've definitely shaken chickens before and had babies, but now they're just hiding behind one another. So is the answer six? It's definitely not six. There's no way it's that easy because they've already pulled that on us before. So one of you are holding out. Okay, come on. Technically, shaking a mother does not count as shaking a baby, so I don't want to hear any of your sass. Just give it up who's holding out. One of you is going to poop out a child. Or not. Um, I don't know where to go with this. Oh, maybe it's... I was going to say maybe it's zero because there are no chicks, right? They're all chickens, but... It's not zero. Okay, so the answer is actually one. It's not one. Is it... Is it two? How many chickens are... Oh my god. Oh my Christ. There... Is the answer... Five? No. Is the answer ten? No, because I can't count. There's eleven on screen. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm yelling at virtual chickens. What have I done with my life? Level 68, comfort my dog. Why don't you comfort me for a change? Okay, I'm the one that's having a crisis right now. <laughs> Here, take your bone and shut up. Oh, no, of course not. Why would that comfort you? Can I pet your head? Can I scratch your ears or boop your snoot? Or just move you around in general? Or I can just rub up and down on him and then that will work. Sure, I'll take it. Level 69, which you know is going to be in the thumbnail of this video because it's hilarious. <laughs> Find out the hidden stars. So we've got either a small farm or a furry convention. Can I move you guys out of the way? No. I don't suppose one of you are a hidden star, are you? Been in a movie or something? No, apparently not. Uh, I can try petting them like I did the last one. That's not going to do anything. Can I make them bigger or smaller? No. Like, the thing is, I only have so many inputs. There's only so many possibilities. I don't need to understand the question because it's not even a question and it doesn't need to make sense. I just need to keep trying stuff until I see stars. <laughs> what else can I do? I can click around the white space. They don't like that. I can shake. What if we just shake you guys up? Oh, of course. You make them dizzy and then they'll see stars. All right. Level 70 is another one of those times where I, I never thought I would say this out loud, but thank God I have a math question in my video game. <laughs> because at least I can understand this question, right? Make the equation true. 18 equals one. 18 does not equal one, so we need to correct that. I'm guessing we need to either move matchsticks to the other side or spread them apart to make different numbers. It didn't say what I can in, oh, I think I can move. Yeah, I can, I can move like everything, but it goes back in place, which is weird. Hold on. So you don't go back in place. 
Oh, if we do one minus zero, then that equals one. You see, isn't that so much better than shaking babies out of chickens? Who am I trying to kid? You guys watch these videos because I get frustrated, not because I can do math good. Do math good? This game is getting my English. <laughs> Level 71, find the mother hen. I literally just said I was done with chicken babies. Okay, uh, don't suppose you guys have a mother underneath you? No, are one of you the unfortunate young mother of the others? No, that would be too easy. Is the mother camouflaged? Oh. Oh, okay, so we just gotta look around and then we'll find mama. Not too bad at all. Will you stop being so incompetent and go watch your chicks? I was gonna say go watch your kids, but I'm pretty sure a kid is a baby goat. So technically not correct. <laughs> Level 72, add up three largest numbers in the following. Okay, so five plus six plus three, it's not gonna be that easy, there's no way. <laughs> the answer 14? Oh, of course it's not. Is there some way that I can manipulate these numbers? Can I screw with this at all? It doesn't look like it's gonna take my input at all. I, I can't touch the dominoes, I assume. Would it be six plus plus five plus six, just adding all of them together, which would be uh, 17, right? Six plus five plus six is 17. No. What is this green one? I, I, I don't understand what that means. I, I don't play dominoes. Is this a domino thing? Maybe it's an English thing. Add up three largest numbers in the following. I assume it means add up the three largest numbers in the following. They're only missing small words that don't really matter all that much. It shouldn't change the outcome. Unless they... I swear to God, if they don't actually care about these dominoes and they want me to add 9 plus 8 plus 7, which would be 24? Like... Okay, yeah, fine, fine, That that's a good one, it just, it got me. Level 73, eat carrots again. I definitely did this one already, right? That's why it's saying again. Why do we have arrows? Oh, right, because you just, you fall to your death. And I can jump, but I can't do that and jump because I, I'm, I'm not using multiple fingers. Last time, I just brought the carrot over to you, but that didn't work. Can I just bring you over to the carrot? No. Why is there a clock up here? Is there something I could do with the clock? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Man, I'm just happy that I don't need to hold side and jump at the same time. I only got one mouse cursor. I would much rather screw around with pulling words. Level 74, please enter a five digit number password. So we have mirror error. An error is usually 404. I don't know what a mirror would be. Five digit number password. So maybe if I need to mirror it, it would be 40404. That makes sense? It doesn't really make sense when you think about it. Can I do anything with the mirror or with the error? Why is there a mirror here? Like, oh! If you flip error around, it would be seven zero seven 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 zero seven seven three. Is that it? That's a good one. I I actually like that one. That that had me thinking a little bit, but it wasn't too frustrating. <laughs> I didn't need to be too big brained. Level seventy five. The little elephant is so lonely. What do you want me to do about it? Watch a video. Oh, no, 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 I'm not watching ads to cheer up the baby elephant. I got my network turned off. <laughs> We're riding in airplane mode. You can suck it, baby elephant. We're just gonna skip you. Even though technically I have to watch an ad to get a key, and then it's just two ads instead of one. And I really don't wanna see, ah, oh, I gotta watch a video with a stupid elephant. 
What do you mean the ads is not ready yet? Just let me watch an- Let me watch an ad with the baby elephant so I can move on with my life! <laughs> this isn't even a question, it's just exploitation! We're just gonna sit here together, me and the elephant, and watch this 60 second long ad that doesn't do anything. We need to choose the cutest. I'm not choosing! You guys can choose in the comments, I don't care, I'm not clicking on anything! Are you serious? I watched your ad, baby elephant. They say that an elephant can never forget, but it was literally 15 seconds ago. I don't want to- I don't want to watch another ad! No, I don't care about TikTok. Shove it up your ass! This does not count as a skip. I am still on my flawless brain outrun. I know the answer. It's the elephant that doesn't know the answer. <laughs> skip it. Moving on. Level 76. Light up the fourth bulb. Okay... Can I... Oh, what? Start. One, two, four, three, five. Oh, so I just need to pause when it's on four? Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Right? There we go. So that wasn't a question either. I feel like they were going with questions at the beginning and then they realized that... Screw it. We'll, we'll just give them a bunch of dumb tasks and make it really difficult. Or broken! Level 77, please write down a two-digit number according to the picture. Like, again, according to what part of the picture? What does that mean? <laughs> do you want me to figure out a certain length? Because I, I could probably do that if somebody didn't draw this with their feet. We've got 10 and 15, and then this would be what? Double four, so this would be eight. This would be four, this would be four, this would be four, this would be six, maybe? And then this would have to be uh, eight minus 15, seven. So we've got 10, 15, eight, four, 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 seven, and six. Which adds up to be, oh no, don't let me down now, brain. Uh, 58? I swear to God. Just, just be, thank you. <laughs> this game's actually giving me a headache. Like, I, I don't want to do blitz math. Thank you. Just give me stupid cat questions. That's all I ask for. Level 78. Which claw is similar to cat's outstretched claw? Again, English is a little hit or miss, but it's this one. Nope. Of course not. That'd be too easy. Is it this one? Is it the one on it? Of course it is. The uh, one on his other arm is a lot more similar than a detached limb from another pet. I suppose... Screw this game. I'm starting to regret my earlier statements. You can take back your math questions now. Level 79, a simple question. Make the following equation hold. 3 plus 5 equals 3. And I'm guessing this time I can't actually move anything? Oh. There were two threes, and I can make them into an eight. All right. I always strive to be clever in my commentary. I want to be snarky. I want to add to the video, but at the same time, all right is all you can say sometimes. <laughs> like, what more do you say about that last question? Level 80. We're ending things here. My brain literally cannot handle any more of this. Go to the exit. So we've got a little chicken. We can move him around in the maze easy enough. So he is going to have a hard time getting to the end considering there is no exit. Okay, then I'm thinking we just need to go out and around. Yeah, not my first rodeo game. Seen this trick a million times before. <laughs> end off on a confidence booster, I'll take it. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brain Out, guys. And once again, you know, if you're hearing me right now, you've watched the video the whole way through, and I just want to take a second to say thank you. Because I really do enjoy the game, and this isn't the kind of thing that you would expect to do well on YouTube. Not a lot of people play this kind of thing, but you guys have really gotten on board with this series. Now, I really enjoy, you know, even though I, I get this pain that's like right here behind my eye, 
I can see why the game is called Brain Out, because I want to get an ice cream scoop and just lobotomize myself after some of these questions. <laughs> but I also want to keep going, so if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and we'll return to help Zoe with her juice sediment. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.